Rabotai, uh, moving on with some of the halachot of Leila Seder, uh, the Seder starts with Kadesh, with Kiddush, which is the first of the four kosot. Uh, so let's first break down what the most preferable kind of wine to have during the Seder is. Now, not only do we have Kiddush, but we have another mitzvah, Midrabanan, of the four cups of wine, which correspond to the four Lishonot, the four languages of Geulav Am Yisrael. So preferably, the best kind of wine for a person to use during the Seder, according to the priority, is dry, red, and non mevushal Now again, none of these things are really me'akev, which means that even if a person is not able to get one of these things, it's still okay, which means if a person, let's say, can't tolerate uh, dry wine, he needs it to be a little bit sweetened, it's okay. If a person, let's say, doesn't have red wine, bidi'avad is yotze with white wine as well, although he should color it a little bit if he has any grape juice, whatever, to make it a little bit uh, rosé. And also, the most important of which is the mevushal versus non mevushal which means... Preferably, since according to many poskim, wine that's mevushal is pasul for kiddush, and even she'akol niyam b'dvaron not borek reagefen, a person should try for all kiddush, especially for arba kosot on lel pesach, to have wine that is not mevushal. But for instance, if a person can't get his hands on that, or if a person has goyim or people who are not shomer Torah mitzvot that are at the seder, and there's concern of yain nesech, then for sure you can be somech al da'at maran in three places, that yain mevushal is also and That's with regards to that. With regards to how much the shi'ur, a person has to drink each one of the four cups. Now, a person should drink preferably a rivi'it, rivi'it alog, which according to the Rambam comes out according to approximately 81 cc, 81 milliliters. In fluid ounces, it comes out to approximately 2.8 fluid ounces. If you round it up to the nearest whole fluid ounce, it comes out to approximately 3 ounces. Your yotze, the mitzvah, lechat tachila, according to the Rambam and all poskes now, even if a person didn't drink all three ounces, the halacha is if he drank rov reve'it, which is about an ounce and a half, he is yotze yedechova, not the best, but he's still yotze. Now, it's important that a person should try to get, unless he's willing to drink all that, a person should get as small a cup as possible in order to get not only the reve'it that he's drinking, but to drink the entirety or a majority of the cup. As opposed to if a person gets a very large cup and only drinks it of eight, there's a machloket taposkim whether or not he's yotze. Although Maran says that he is, but why get into the machloket? It's better to get a smaller cup and drink the entire thing. If you think about it, three ounces times four cups is twelve ounces. That's a can of soda. That's all the arba, all arba kosot comes out to about twelve ounces. That's all it is. Now it's important also that a person, besides for drinking baseva, reclining, a person has to drink it. Toch Kedesh Tiyat Revi'it, which means within the amount of time that it takes to drink Revi'it, which is about three ounces, how long does that take? It's a few seconds, which means that a person can't sip. It's not, although it's wine, and wine is usually sipped, but for the mitzvah, you're not supposed to be sipping. You're supposed to be drinking in one continuous fashion, so you drink the entire Revi'it or over Revi'it within that allotted amount of time. Have a wonderful day.